I've made videos for all the different steps towards making a balanced symbol equation. So in this video, just to finish, I'm going to put them all together with a worked example to show you the full process of making a balanced symbol equation with state symbols for a reaction that you've just been told about. The reaction I'm going to do is reacting potassium with water. Water normally isn't very reactive, so it doesn't do reactions, but potassium is very reactive. Um, you hopefully will see this reaction at school. If you drop a piece of potassium metal into water, it explodes with a purple flame and it makes potassium hydroxide and gives off hydrogen gas. Using that information then, I'm going to start with making a word equation. So I've said that we react potassium with water. So those are our reactants. So it's going to start potassium plus water. The arrow shows that there's a reaction. We start with the reactants we're going to make. And I said we make potassium hydroxide. And we give off hydrogen gas. Got our word equation. Now we need to work out the formula for each of these four different things. And once we've put those in, we'll have a simple equation. So follow the rules we know. Potassium is a metal, so it's just going to be its element symbol as the formula. So just a K for that one. Water, we've known that since primary school. That's H2O. Potassium hydroxide, we need to take a bit of time with this one. This is an ionic compound, so we need to work out the formula by balancing the charges of the ions. So first of all, potassium. On our periodic table, potassium's in group 1, so it's going to make a 1 plus ion. Just work it out on here. So that's K plus, 1 plus ion. And hydroxide, that's one of the ones that we remember. It's polyatomic. So we've remembered that that one is OH minus. So we need to balance those out. Well, they're already balanced, 1 plus and 1 minus. So we need one of each in the formula. So the formula is just going to be KOH, 1 potassium balanced with 1 hydroxide ion. Makes KOH. And then for hydrogen, we need to remember that hydrogen is a diatomic gas, so it's going to be H2. OK, we've got our correct formulae, so we've got a simple equation. We now need to balance it. Line down the middle, I'm going to write down the different types of atoms that are in here. There's potassium atoms, hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms. OK, H and O. On the left is one potassium atom, on the right is one. On the left, there's two hydrogen atoms, and on the right, there's one, two, three. On the left, there's one oxygen atom. On the right, there's one oxygen atom. OK, to balance it, I need to look at these hydrogens, because that's the one that's not balanced. OK, so I've got my H2 here. I've got my H2O here. I need to make it bigger on this side, so I'm going to start by putting a 2 there. So I've now got 2 times 2, I've got the 4 hydrogen atoms now. Still not quite balanced, but we'll leave that for now. Let's remember that we've also changed the amount of oxygen atoms, though, because there's now 2 times the 1 oxygen atom. So there's now 2 oxygen atoms in total. We need to sort out the oxygen and hydrogen atoms on this side now. So let's do it by putting a number in front of here, and that will sort them both out at the same time. So if I put a 2 in front there, there is now... 1 times 2, so there's 2 oxygen atoms. And now in total for hydrogen, there's now 1 times 2, add the 2 there, so there's now 4 hydrogen atoms in total. So they're sorted, but it's also affected the potassium. There's now 2 times 1, there's now 2 potassium atoms there. Okay, so it's just potassium we need to balance now, and we can do that by putting a 2 in front of that. Okay, now we go from 2 potassiums to 2 potassiums, four hydrogens, two, one, two, three, four hydrogens, and two oxygens to two oxygens. So that is now balanced. That's my balanced symbol equation. Last step, let's just put some state symbols in there. We can know that just from knowing about these different types of things, also from thinking about what we'd see. I said a piece of potassium, and we know that potassium is a metal, so that's going to be a solid. Water, we know is a liquid. Potassium hydroxide, this is one that we're going to have to think about, is an ionic compound. Ionic compounds, generally solids, but remember most ionic compounds are soluble in water. So if there's water around, 
ionic compounds will probably be dissolved in it and there is water around in this reaction so that compound is actually going to be dissolved in the water and it's an AQ and you'd see that if you watch this reaction because you can't see any solid left over at the end because the potassium hydroxide is all dissolved into the water. Hydrogen we know is a gas gives off bubbles so it's a lowercase g. So there we go just from being told a sentence about reaction we are able to make a balanced symbol equation with state symbols.